What is up, bros and brats? I am Ink Slasher, and welcome to another episode of Top 5 Paint Jobs of the Week. This is the second episode we have so far in Call of Duty World War II, and we have some amazing, amazing submissions. You guys really stepped it up from last week, and if you would like to submit some of your paint jobs or emblems to future videos, the way to do so is by sending me high-resolution screenshots over on Twitter. Make sure they're high-resolution screenshots, not taken with a cell phone or something like that. But if you would like to submit them, my Twitter handle is at ink slasher or you can check out the link down in the description now this week's paint jobs were exceptionally hard to actually put in a proper order deciding from five to one so if you disagree with the order i put them in feel free to let me know down in the comments below let me know what your favorite paint job was in this video but without further ado let's hop in and look at the top five paint jobs this week Coming in at number five this week, we have one by Angry Bulldog Gaming on YouTube, and this one is the Exclusion Zone camo from Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. So this was basically the Dark Matter camo in Modern Warfare Remastered. If you got all of the camos in the game, you then unlocked Exclusion Zone. Now, this is his version of it that he is bringing to Call of Duty World War II. And as you can see here, it looks very, very similar to that of what it was in Modern Warfare Remastered. Really, the only difference between the two is that the the one in Call of Duty World War II doesn't have the texture that the one in Modern Warfare Remastered does. But overall, it looks very similar, and that's why I put it on this list. It, he did a very good job of copying it and putting it into World War II. Up next at number four, we've got one by iKing21, and this one is absolutely awesome. Honestly, it could almost finish at number one. All of them in this video are incredibly well done, but this one is a Joker camo. It's almost identical to the promotional material from The Dark Knight, if you remember that. I believe that was back in like 2008, but this is awesome. So first of all, on this side, you kind of have the Joker, which looks like you're looking through like a steamed up glass. You can see the smiley and why so serious. But what I really love is if you look at the other side of the weapon, it's the same thing, but almost that you're looking at it from behind. You can see the Joker's green hair, why so serious serious spelt backwards it looks really really sweet and he did a really amazing job with that i honestly think it was a really brilliant idea showing it from the other side of the glass from behind i thought that was brilliant up next, number three, we've got one by Dark Elf Emblems, and this one's fantastic. It's a Deadpool emblem, and there's three things that I think make this really fantastic. First of all, close to the butt of the weapon, you can kind of see the Deadpool icon. I think that's very well done. On the other side of the weapon, you can see point towards bad guys in the comic lettering. That's very nice, but also the way he did the colors, the bands of black and red with the proper shading closer towards the end of the colors makes this really all come together, and I thought that was very impressive looking. But what gets even better is when you flip the weapon over and take a look at the other side. Once again, similar color scheme and same way of doing the colors, but at the butt of the weapon, you can actually see Deadpool himself. And I think they did a very fantastic job actually creating Deadpool. The shading on the face, the way he used the lighter colors to make it actually look 3D and like an actual person is just very, very well done. A great attention to detail. And once again, closer to the muzzle of the weapon, you can see the comic book lettering with pew pew there up next coming in at number two we've got one by babby foot now this one is awesome i really enjoy this one so first of all it's a shark paint job as you can very clearly see but what really brings this one together is the colors the colors are just incredible on this the shading on the shark itself on top of that the color scheme if you look towards the butt of the weapon you can see that red outline outlining the two different colors that looks really well the gills on the shark also look fantastic but when you look at the front of the shark and you can see the kind of outlines in white it almost makes the shark look like it's being propelled forward throughout the gun another thing he did to really bring this one together is he actually put it on top of a camo he used the diamond camo to almost give the weapon a texture with the paint job another area where this can really be seen is if you look at the belly of the shark as you can see on the bottom of the weapon there there's white looking like the belly of the shark but that's actually just the diamond camo showing up on the bottom of the weapon so he doesn't have to put a color there he's able to save some layers and in doing so brings the whole thing together that much more i thought that was a brilliant use of using a camo to really finish off that paint job and then when we flip the weapon over to the other side, once again, you can see the same color scheme with shark written towards the front of the weapon. But what I thought was kind of funny is it almost seems like the lettering he put on here was the same kind of font and look as Sharknado does on all the front of their DVDs and promotional material, which I thought was kind of funny. But overall, I really enjoyed this camo. I thought the shark was well done. The color 
color scheme was fantastic, and overall the use of the diamond camo really brings the entire thing together. And that's why well, this one has the number two spot this week. And coming in at number one, we've got one by Coco or Enzo Coquito. Hopefully I said that correct. But this is a Avengers or an Iron Man paint job, depending on how you look at it. So as you can see here, it looks fantastic in game. But if you ask me, it looks even better when you check it out in the menus. So as you can see, it looks awesome here. But there's a couple of reasons why I think this really, really works. First of all, you can see close towards the center or the trigger of the weapon, you have the Avengers logo and then the kind of Iron Man chest right beside that but what i really enjoy about this one is the various fades of color throughout it with the different colors the gold the blues the reds it really makes it look like it's almost an extension of iron man himself even if you look at the tip of the weapon by making the tip of the weapon that kind of lighter blue color i think that's a really brilliant idea and it looks even better when firing the actual thing on top of that if you look at the butt of the weapon you can see a few screws to make it look like it's actually a part of a robot and I thought it just all came together really, really fantastically. And all in all, the reason why I put this one at number one is a couple of reasons. First of all, the way he faded the colors together I thought was impressive, especially at the tip of the barrel. On top of that, the barrel, the outline in the yellow I think looks really fantastic. And the whole thing just comes together and all in all looks very professionally done. So I was just very impressed by that. But if you disagree with me, you think another one deserves the number one spot, feel free to let me know down in the comments below which one of these paint jobs was used your favorite. Also, if you think you could make a paint job this good or maybe even better, feel free to send it in on my Twitter, the link down in the description, or just send it to at Ink Slasher. But guys, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more like it, the way to show me is by hitting that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel and like what you see, you can always hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all my videos. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, guys, peace out.